tucked away from the hectic urban pace. A picture-perfect backdrop frames this one-of-a-kind school. A lot of kids have never left the community to, to know what it's like in, in the outside world. And that challenge is taking them beyond the boundaries of the classroom. Well, we've always wanted to go back to our roots. The hope is to give their students a unique experience. Let's go see if we can connect with Big Red over here. It's one of the most personal things that our warriors back in the day had for basic survival. Things were tough for you at one time with kids bugging you, you know. Steps from the school, counselor Wendy Treasure is using horses as a tool to help Aboriginal kids heal from a legacy of pain. A lot of it is amplified because of the damage done in the for Aboriginal people in the residential school system. So um, it's wonderful if the schools can now become a place of healing instead of, of um, harm. Come here, little one. Come on. Horses can repair damage in these children in a way traditional therapy can't. They've had a lot of anguish in their relationships with other people, um, with humans, and sometimes they're more able to trust with their relationship with animals. And because the setting is less intimidating, it allows them to let their guard down. You managed to find your courage when you were so scared. The horses taught 12-year-old Tyrell he had the power within himself to confront his fears. I got through, I said, it doesn't bother me now. They pick on me all they want. Just walk away with it. Walk away with my confidence before anything else bad happens. It's believed the work now in this First Nations community can help rebuild an entire generation, making way for a kind of future they know is possible. I can't really describe it because it's, it's unbelievable what a horse can do with a kid. Jill Crotel, Global News.